So you want to get on the information superhighway. Might I recommend that you take a trip down the 301 IA? Okay, so that's not actually the name of a highway, but what it is is it's the name of this value-oriented gaming system, the, well, the 301 IA. Learn more about it in this video, coming soon. Well, now. Okay, now. Clink, clink. The outside of this system is extremely classy. It uses the Fractal Design Define Mini, which is one of my favorite cases from one of my favorite manufacturers. It is very similar to the full-size Define, except, well, it's mini, so it's shorter, and it accommodates only an MATX motherboard as opposed to a full-sized ATX board. So that's where you get that little bit of space savingsness that it doesn't make it a small case. It's not tiny by any stretch of the imagination. It's still got some heft to it, but it's just kind of adorable. I like it. Anyway, on the front, you're going to find classic fractal design. So there's a nice little LED indicator for power. And then other than that, the rest of the front is extremely plain. And this is for a good reason practically, as well as for aesthetics. On the inside of that front door, you're going to see why it's so plain. This is a silence optimized case. And we've got noise dampening foam in front here. And then we've also got all the I.O. sitting behind it. So what this does is it acts as a barrier between these potentially two 120 millimeter cooling fans that are in the front of the case and where the user is actually going to sit, meaning that you don't have to listen to the fans, but they're going to be there drawing air in. So Linus, where are those conveniently filtered? You can remove these filters and clean them if you want. Where are these filtered fans going to get air from if the entire front of the case is solid? Well, there's actually vents on the sides. So all up and down the left and the right side of the case, there are air vents. Just by having them off to the side does actually give an advantage in terms of the acoustic properties of the case itself. Now one thing I did miss the first time we opened this up was that there are two five and a quarter inch bays in there, neither of which are populated. Optical drives are becoming a very optional thing these days, and that option has been issued on this particular system. Now on the top of the case, you're going to find your I.O. So there's a microphone, headphone jack, power button, two USB 2.0 ports, and a single USB 3.0 port. You're also going to find Fractal Design's trademark. I don't know if it's actually trademark, but whatever, it's cool and it's sort of their thing, Moduvent. So there's either a spot for a 120 or a 140 millimeter fan, but what you'll see is that there's actually a solid piece under it right now. That makes the system more silent, but gives you the option to install more cooling fans in the future, should you so desire. On the left side of the chassis, you're going to find the same thing again. So there's another Moduvent that has options for 120 or 140 millimeter fan mounts, but is currently not populated. Now, because most of the hardware inside this system is pretty sort of thermally optimized, that is to say it doesn't kick out a ton of heat, it was not necessary to install any additional cooling fans, and the Moduvents have been left intact. At the back of the board, we're going to find dedicated keyboard and mouse PS2 ports, HDMI, DVI, VGA out, four more USB 2.0 ports, two more USB 3.0 ports, a gigabit ethernet port, 5.1 audio out. We've also got our 650 Ti boosts full complement of outputs, which support three monitor NVIDIA surround plus an auxiliary display. Then down here, check this out, there's a little knob. That is your fan control. So you can actually turn the fans up and down in your case using this. It comes with the chassis itself. And finally, a 500 watt fractal design power supply has its honeycomb mesh down here at the bottom. So let's open this bad boy up and find out what the crazy Russian has put inside for us today. First of all, we've got a side panel that looks pretty silence optimized. You've got a nice high density coating over top of the entire side panel. You can also see that mod event that has a bit of a softer foam on it. You can also see how to remove it. So there's screws that go through. Those are just standard fan screws. So once you pull the mod event off, you can use those same screws to mount your 120 or 140 millimeter fan on there. This also serves the purpose of making the case a little bit more rigid, which makes it just adding more weight and more rigidity makes it less prone to vibration which in turn makes it less prone to noise. This is, this is a fairly, fairly normal thing that happens. And inside here we find some pretty sweet components. So we've got an ASUS motherboard, which is in line with the sort of 
premium brands overall selected for the system. 8 gigs of Kingston HyperX memory. We've also got a Core i3-3220. And guys, do not underestimate the gaming prowess of even an Intel Core i3. Most games are still not getting much benefit from more than two cores. With that said, some of them are. It's finally happening. And the Core, Core i3s are clocked at fairly reasonable frequencies. So as long as you're not playing the very latest, most demanding games at the highest settings, which let's face it, if you're using a 650 Ti Boost, which is a very decent graphics card, but not top of the range, this is a pretty good match. For our power supply, it's a 500 watt Integra power supply from Fractal Design. This is a non-modular power supply. However, I'd love for you guys to check out how the built-in cable management in the Define Mini makes it so that all these cables just tuck away behind the motherboard tray where they can be completely hidden and only pop out where they're needed. This also makes the airflow in this case, which is fairly limited because it's a silence optimized case. You got that one 120 millimeter at the front, one 120 at the back, and then the power supply draws air straight through a filter on the bottom of the case and exhausts it directly. So you gotta make the most of the airflow that you have. I think that, pr oh, and this is that, but wait, there's more moment. Check this out. We've got an 840, 120 gig SSD. So this is a purely SSD powered system. Uh, if I was gonna make any changes to the configuration, if I was gonna spend a couple extra bucks to optimize things a little bit, I personally would probably want to put a quad core in there and I would also add a storage drive. With that said, you can buy this system, have a perfectly functional system that's ready for gaming now and is upgradable for the future. So what do you get with the 301 IA? You get a well-balanced budget gaming rig, you get upgrade potential, and last but not least, you get 120 bucks worth of game value. So that is some in-game money for Hawken, Planet Side 2, as well as World of Tanks. You also get a copy of Mafia 2 and Just Cause 2, which are sort of older NVIDIA promo games that are being thrown into this system to bundle in some additional value. I mean, yes, they're slightly older titles, but both of them are well-regarded and solid titles. Thank you for checking out this NCIX PC episode of NCIX Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from your favorite e-tailer, NCIX.com.